This is the ARV by Palmetto State Armory. And let me tell you right now, this has been my second impulse buy within my short few months of gun ownership. Um, I'm pretty impressed this time. PSA knocked it out of the park with this one. Gotta make sure this motor scooter is clear. Clear, 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 still clear. Out of the box, it came with this very snazzy pistol brace from SB Tactical, as you can see right there. Has this release switch right here. And then you've got there, finally, there. Three positions for this pistol brace. Nice. If you're familiar with ARs, you're quite familiar with the safety select, safe fire, safe fire, safe fire. We have a Magpul pistol grip. Everyone seems to complain about these Magpul pistol grips on the ARs and the Jackals and I believe the AKVs, but they work fine for me. And same as the Jackal, you have a little hidey hole in here. Yep, so this comes out. You can hide your contraband or paraphernalia in there. All right, moving along, you'll notice the entire top of the weapon has a Picatinny rail. Will be quite useful for you guys that like to attach your multiple accessories, optics, magnifiers, what have you. On the muzzle, this is a threaded barrel. This is quite nice, I like the looks of that. It's nothing sweeter than a threaded barrel where at a glance it does not look like it's a threaded barrel. Unlike the threaded barrels of most pistols that have the giant huge cap that looks quite like an eyesore. Come down here, standard looking trigger, nothing fancy. You will notice the dust cover or the lack of dust cover compared to your traditional ARs. So no dust cover and once you get here to the magwell area and the magazine release, this is where things start to get different. You will notice the entire magwell area is made specifically to fit these 9mm. Unlike most 9mm AKs where they will leave you this giant gaping hole that was meant for the regular 5.6 mags and it looks kind of odd, this fixed that eyesore. Good job PSA. This right here is your magazine release. See, comes off like so. Coming up to the front, you'll notice there's no three o'clock, six o'clock, or nine o'clock Picatinny or M-Lock accessory rail. However, it does give you that sweet MP5 look. Let's come around to the other side. Okay, coming along, right. Meow, you'll see Palmetto's um, logo etched or engraved into the uh, metal. That's quite fancy, I like the looks of that. And also on both sides of the firearm, right, meow. And on the opposite side, stamped in says made in USA. Bah, yeah. Just to clarify, out of the box, it did not come with the optic, but it did come with this one standard 35 round magazine, which um, this, it feels very sturdy. I don't know why it feels better quality than the um, the nine mil mag poles that come with the, the daggers. It just feels a lot more quality. It doesn't bend or flex. There's no unnecessary flexing or bulging under full load. And this, I had to purchase it because I'm a child. Actually, honestly, I bought these because I had plans to get an AKV when I first saw them, because I thought they were sweet. And then I saw this thing, oh, knock off MP5 here, and I was like, shut up and take my money. Now, I'm gonna get into my likes and dislikes or the pros and cons, if you will. Off the bat, at a glance, you're like, oh, MP5. I like that. That was a huge, huge pro for me. Aesthetically, there's nothing wrong with how this thing looks. I absolutely love how this looks. Another pro, this SB Tactical Brace. Very nice touch. I've shown you how it extends and collapse. It's very nice for a pistol brace. The magazine release. I'll demonstrate again. That's all there is to it. Another lovely touch, well done PSA. I'm a huge fan of that mag release. The whole MP5 shroud, it's, it's a thing of beauty. I, I really like this. 
Most of you may not be a fan of this because it means less accessories for you. You can't mount your lasers, your giant flashlights, your toaster ovens, your vape pens, none of that stuff on there. I know that's terrible for you. For me, I like this. An inconspicuous threaded barrel. Huge fan of that. When I purchased this, I completely forgot I had a threaded barrel. So, I like this. You can't tell it's a threaded barrel unless you're paying attention to it. Now the Pro, 35 round magazines. This is pretty sweet. Plus the option to go with the sweet, sweet banana mags. Oh, look at you, PSA. You have outdid yourself with this one. Shut up and take my money. Oh, I forgot another huge, huge pro for me with this AKV. So a lot of these AR-based PCCs, they like to do this, um, oh, we take Glock mags type deal, you know, type deals. So my problem with these things that takes Glock mags, even though it saves you money on having to buy magazines and all that stuff, you end up with this, with this magazine that sits in there like this and you have this goofy looking thing in your hand. Magazines on an AR-based anything or any type of rifle that comes backwards like this, that follows the lines of the pistol, pistol grip, is the most awkward looking thing to me. I will never buy one of those. Nothing's wrong with those. If you own those, that is great. If you like those, there's, that's fine. You're smart because you're saving on magazines. I just find them fugly. My magazines, should all curve forward like that. Aggressive and mean looking. If this was made to take Glock mags with that ridiculous back angle, I would, never, I would have never bought this, never. My biggest pro with this ARV, I took it out to the range to test fire it. The same day I took the micro dagger and is where the micro dagger failed, failed, and failed. This thing ran flawlessly. Zero jams, zero hiccups, zero malfunctions. It just ate everything. And honestly, after my experience with the micro dagger, I 100% I expected this thing to fail. I was ready for the failures and it did not let me down. This thing performed so good. So I, I, I can't express how excited I am to have this. If you're on the fence about one of these, if you're thinking about one of this, one of these, yes, go get it. It performs, Mwah! chef's kiss, chef kiss, good job, PSA, good job. All right, now for the cons or my dislikes. There isn't many, but I'll try to be, I will try to be unbiased. I have to find things I dislike about this thing. All right, lack of dust cover. I don't like that there's no dust cover for me to cool clothes over this not a fan of that another con even though i like the looks of this at the end of the day you are lacking in accessory rails right no m-lock no picatinny none of that stuff so i understand for you guys where this would be a huge con i i really do understand that and pff, that's it those are my cons man when i tell you guys i really i really like this thing Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that's gonna piss you guys off. I like this more than the Jackal. There, I said it, I said it. I'm not gonna take it back. It's out there now. I like this more than the Jackal. It's, it performs flawlessly. I don't have to do any finicky gas adjustment settings because, because it's nine mil, I can shoot a shit ton for cheap and it's light. It's so light. In case I didn't mention, this version 
PSA says it's the seven inch barrel, which is a short boy. But uh, yeah, this thing is very light. Like if you had to shoot this one handed using the brace, you would be fine. If I try to shoot the, um, the Jackal one handed with all that unnecessary weight up front, you'd be in for a bad time. And that is my quick and crappy review of my ARV by Palmetto State Armory. <laughs> it's, uh, it's my new favorite. It's my new favorite, yeah. If you're wondering about the optic, it is a Sig Romeo Zero. I purchased this thing a couple of months ago along with this when I saw the AKVs. My plan was to get an AKV, throw that on it, and throw this on it, and then I saw this thing. Chime in below, let me know what you think about this ARV by Palmetto State Armory. What are your likes? dislikes about it. Do you have an ARV? Did you plan on getting an ARV? As far as PCCs go, I still want the AKV and I'm, I really want to get one of those Strybogs. I've heard it pronounced Strybog. I've also heard Strybog. Which one's correct? I don't know. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, Strybog. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of bad things about the magazines that's being used in those. I heard the magazines are crap. Every reviewer I've seen with the Strybox seems to have magazine issues. Also, give me your recommendations for another PCC. Peace and chicken grease.